The nationalization process in Pakistan or historically simply regarded as the nationalization in Pakistan was a policy measure program in the economic history of Pakistan, first introduced, promulgated and implemented by people elected Prime Minister Zulfikar Ali Bhutto and the Pakistan People's Party to lay the foundation of socialist economics reforms to improve the growth of national economy of Pakistan. Since the 1950s, the country had undergone a speedy industrialization and became an industrial paradise in Asia. But, as time progressed, the labor trade unions and labor working class had increasingly strained relations with the industrial business oligarch class, having neglected to improve working conditions and failing to provide a healthy and safe environment for the workers in these industrial industries. The nationalization program began on 2 January 1972, with a vision to promote economic democracy, liberalization, and an initial mainstream goal to put Pakistan in line with state progressivism. Ended effectively in 1977, the nationalization program was again put forward by Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto in 1996, and most recently by then current Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Jalani in 2012 who activated the program to bring three major megacorporations steel mills, railways and international airlines under government ownership in an attempt to improve its structure and to alleviate its profitable process. Despite its success in its formative years, such policy measure programs met with an extreme level of spontaneous demonstration and international and national opposition that left disastrous effects on Pakistan's national economy until it was replaced with the privatization program set forward by Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif in 1990 until the program's final execution in 2008 by Shaqat Aziz. <laughs> Nationalization phase 1971 Zulfikar Ali Bhutto (1928–1979) became president of Pakistan (1971–74) on the 21st of December 1971 after a disastrous end of 1971 war with India. The nationalization program was implemented for the first time in the history of Pakistan, and it was promulgated through three different stages. On 1 January 1972, on a televised speech to the nation, Bhutto and the People's Party's government promulgated the three-staged program, under Nationalization and Economic Reforms Order Nero, which nationalized all major metal industries, including iron and steel, heavy engineering, heavy electricals, petrochemicals, cement and public utilities except textiles industry and lands. The first stage of the nationalization program integrated approximately 31 major industrial megacorporations, industrial units and enterprises, under direct management control of the government under 10 different categories of basic industries. The program intended to assert public ownership over the industrial megacorporations, and to satisfy the labor unions to keep the industrialization peace in the country. Namely, the first stage of the nationalization program integrated the selective industries approved by the People's Party's government and the nationalization program provided the iron and steel, basic metal industries, heavy engineering industries, heavy electrical industries, assembly and manufacture of motor vehicles, tractor public utilities, including the electricity generation, transmission and distribution, gas and oil refineries, under the management of public sector. A large number of Christian educational facilities were also nationalized in 1972. One example is Gordon College in Rawalpindi. In Peshawar nationalization of Christian schools happened under a later government. The provincial governor refused to implement PM. Bhutto's policy. He did not want to disadvantage minorities in his province. After the success of the first stage, the nationalization program stepped into the second stage when it was launched on 1 January 1974, intending to nationalize the banking and financial industry and sector in Pakistan. Passed by the parliament, over 13 major banks, over a dozen insurance companies, two petroleum companies and ten shipping companies were forcefully nationalized. The second program was presided by Finance Minister Dr. Mubashir Hassan who strongly maintained that Wealth of the nation must be used for the benefit of the nation and can not be allowed to be concentrated in the banks of a few individuals. Banks, which till Monday were the private property of a group, are now public property. 
all our big industries in the private sector were set up largely on the basis of financial accommodation provided by the banks and the financial institutions. Because of the previous government's obsessions with GNP growth, industrial power was concentrated in the hands of few robbers barons. On 1 April 1973, Bhutto held a meeting with members of Lahore Chamber of Commerce and Industry and maintained, Activity of public sector prevents the concentration of economic power in few hands and protects the small and medium entrepreneurs from the clutches of giant enterprises and vested interests. The third program soon launched in 1 July 1976, when approximately 2,000 cotton, ginning and rice husking units came under the nationalization program. This program met with administrative nightmare and widespread public resentment. The third program eliminated the role of middle men, and it was rumored that the producer as well as consumers of cotton, rice and wheat had been at the mercy of middle men trading in the milling of these commodities, with the result that producers were deprived of due share and consumer got poor quality and adulterated commodities at much higher prices. By 1977, the People's Party's government had built a strong and sizable public sector with priority on cement, steel and fertilizers. Topic: Nationalization phase 1988 present. In November 1988, Benazir Bhutto and the Pakistan People's Party came to power for a second time. During the election campaign in 1988, Benazir Bhutto promised to the industrial sector to end nationalization program and to carry out the industrialization by means other than state intervention, but controversially, Benazir Bhutto did not authorize the directives to carry out the denationalization program or liberalization of the national economy. No nationalized units were privatized, only few economic regulations were reviewed. Although limited-scale privatization continued under Benazir Bhutto's second government, the UBL Pakistan and Railway Consortium was completely nationalized by Benazir Bhutto before being dismissed in 1996. During the second government, the People's Party intensified the government control on Pakistan railways and Pakistan steel mills. All shares were kept under government management ownership. In 1998, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif imposed economic emergency after performing nuclear deterrence in a direct response to India. All state-owned corporations and private sector industries' assets were frozen by Nawaz Sharif after ordering to freeze the private assets under government control to prevent the financial collapse. From 1999 to 2010, the nationalization program was swiftly ended and effectively came to its end until 2011. The nationalization program was again promulgated by Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Jalani on 15 December 2011, in order to secure and rescue the former state-owned enterprises. The nationalization program was put forward to enhance the government ownership of Pakistan steel mills, Pakistan railways as well as Pakistan International Airlines. The current nationalization program remains intact to restructured and made profitable while remaining within government ownership. Opposition and adversaries The nationalization policies had disastrous effects on economy and had damaged the confidence of investors in the country. The nationalization program financially devastated 22 oligarch families, while one investor quoting, "...industrialists not just lost industrial units to Bhutto's nationalization policy, they lost the urge to invest in Pakistan." Major effectee included Nawaz Sharif who lost the major steel mill, the Itafak Group of Industries, and Chaudhry Shujit Hussain's Gurat Enterprises. All 25 shipping companies were merged with Pakistan National Shipping Corporation by Bhutto's nationalization program. Those who protested were imprisoned by the government. At an international level, the United States fully opposed the nationalization program and marked it as ill-considered decision of the government. Former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, an effectee of nationalization process, gave vehement criticism and cited nationalization program as lamentable state of Pakistan. While on the other hand, the unnamed and anonymous United States Embassy officer later further noted that During Bhutto's five years in Pakistan's helm, Bhutto had retained an emotional hold on the poor masses who had voted him overwhelmingly in 1970s general elections. At the same time, however, B. Hutto had many enemies. 
the socialist economics and nationalization of major private industries during his first two years on office had badly upset the business circles. An ill-considered decision to take over the wheat milling, rice husking, sugar mills, and cotton gaining, industries in July of 1976 had angered the small business owners and traders. Both leftists, socialists and communists, intellectuals, students, and trade unionists, felt betrayed by Bhutto's shift to center right-wing conservative economics policies and by his growing collaboration with powerful feudal lords, Pakistan's traditional power brokers. After 1976, Bhutto's aggressive authoritarian personal style and often high-handed way of dealing with political rivals, dissidents, and opponents had also alienated many. Responsive reasoning The Pakistan People's Party's intellectuals on the other hand, vigorously defended the nationalization program. The People's Party maintained that the nationalization program was indeed a success, but the way it was implemented led to its failure. The People's Party's members and cabinet officers, such as Dr. Mubashir Hassan, maintained that the nationalization program was party policy and the founding program of the PPP in 1967, under socialism is our economy clause. Others supporting the arguments that the program was mandated by the people of Pakistan when they voted for PPP in 1970 general elections, and People's Party is proud of the successful implementation of the nationalization policy, and the fact that nationalization measures were protected for ten years by the 1973 constitution, started in 1970, the nationalization programs were precise articulation of that self-consciousness and self-recognition expression. The nationalization program completely abolished the monopoly and politicization of economy under few hands that was kept in close drawing room politics. The nationalization program gave a though of self-awareness to labors, traders, and workers' unions and to be more aware about the workers' rights and work healthy safe environment, as Suleiman Actor maintained. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Government reports. Ministry of Finance. The Banks Nationalization Act 1974, 1974. Government of Pakistan. Government of Pakistan. Retrieved 31 May 2012. Riyazuddin, Riyaz. Pakistan, Financial Sector Assessment 1990-2000. Economic Research Department of State Bank of Pakistan. State Bank of Pakistan. Retrieved 2 June 2012. See also Category – Government-owned companies of Pakistan Privatization in Pakistan